Well, I always tell people I just couldn't find really nice anatomy reference out there, so I had to make my own. And it's true, it started out as a visual reference tool for my students and me. Two years and some many man hours later, we really had something. Yeah, people have had a great reaction to the work. We've received great reviews from people in the film and game industries, and people in science and medical publishing also. Our process was pretty intense. I have a background in figurative sculpture, which helped a lot. We also had lots of reference, anatomy books, dissection DVDs, uh, and when I wanted a better understanding of the body, uh, a certain aspect of the figure, I would just sculpt a maquette, or I'd do a, a Photoshop illustration. The 3D modeling effort was difficult. I think when you start something like this, you say to yourself, well, if I can just make accurate and aesthetic forms from the skeleton up, all the parts will fit together and necessarily create a beautiful whole figure. And actually, nothing could be further from the truth. Everything has to be finessed from the deep layers to the surface forms, and then from the surface forms back down to the deep layers again. And you repeat this process over and over again until you get it right. It's so many iterations and so many edits. One of the ways I like to work is to use Photoshop to do paintovers uh, from the 3D renders so that I can art direct the modeling process. And I think the modelers really found this very effective. We rigged the model for realistic animation, which allowed us to create an interactive flash demo for visualizing anatomy. It's great for understanding motion arcs and dynamic muscle volume. Great reference for animators and artists. In information mode, you can navigate all around the muscle groups. In animation mode, you can navigate sliders to animate the body. We've also used the model as a basis for several medical and editorial illustrations. It gives you a great start on the graphics. If you need to do an illustration and you're looking for a certain viewpoint, what better way than to start from a render of a 3D model? What it comes down to is I'm always looking for improvement and we'll continue to do that. That's why we started this project. And so in the end, we have this ideal naturalistic human form that looks great from any camera angle in any pose. Even I rendered him in low light in the scene and it looked great, even in silhouette like the silhouette of an athlete or a warrior standing there. <laughs>